can you tell which one of these canines is a natural tooth and which one is an implant? What if I told you one was both? Check out the full case today on The Open Reduction. Welcome to The Open Reduction, your channel covering all topics oral and maxillofacial surgery. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton, and today I've got a really cool case to discuss. Check out these two pics. One of these canines is a natural tooth, and the other one is an implant. You'd be very hard pressed to determine which is which. They both look identical. Not only are they indiscernible, but this was done on the same day. This patient came in with her canine, left with an implant supported canine, and never had to go with a temporary tooth. Let's discuss this case from start to finish. This patient is a 34 year old female who developed substantial internal resorption of the root of tooth number six. The root was basically rotting from the inside out, and so the tooth had to be removed. Fortunately, the crown was intact and looked great. I discussed this case with her restorative doctor, and we came up with a plan to give this patient an optimal aesthetic result. She presented to the office NPO with an escort, and I proceeded to do this case under IV sedation. The first step is going to be removing this tooth. I freed the papilla, released the gingival attachments, and then began to elevate the tooth. I then secure the crown with a forcep and then begin to apply apical, buccal, and palatal pressure to remove the tooth. The key here is I want to preserve the buccal wall. This is not easy on a maxillary canine. It's a large tooth with a huge root and the buccal wall is typically very thin. I'm applying pressure, and here comes the tooth. Thankfully, this tooth came out without any of the buccal wall present, and it's intact. There's a small tear in the gingiva, which I'm not thrilled about, but it's easily repairable. Now that I've removed this tooth, I'm going to place an immediate implant. I perform my implant osteotomies under copious irrigation and then deliver a 13 millimeter wide bodied implant. This implant torques in very nicely, it's rock solid. I packed allograft bone graft material along the buccal aspect of this implant to ensure nice gingival contours.
I closed up the site and now it's in the restorative doctor's hands. I woke the patient up and the patient went over to the restoring doctor's office. This is when she took over and worked some magic. The restoring doctor was present for this case and while I was placing the implant, she performed a crown amputation and prepared the crown for the implant. Once I was done with my portion, the patient went with her restoring doctor back to her office to finish with the restoration. The restorative doctor created an access point around the palatal aspect of this crown and then used this access point to secure the tooth with a screw. Here is the access point, which is not visible clinically at all. The tooth seated very nicely and it's rock solid. Here's the end result immediately after the case and the patient is thrilled. Here it is one month later and we're thrilled with the results. There is no way anyone can tell that this is an implant. It looks perfect. If you want to learn how this restorative process was done in great detail, check out my website, theopenreduction.com, to watch step-by-step -step directions on how to do this. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions, please let me know. Drop the comments. I'm always happy to check those out. And please subscribe to the channel and click that like button. I'm Dr. Tom Bolton. I'll catch you next time on The Open Reduction.